Well, hello there. Happy New Year, everybody. Welcome to 2023. I cannot believe it is 2023. No, not even that long ago. It seemed like so far away and here it is right on us. If you haven't yet started writing your life stories or you have stalled out again, maybe for the first time, but a lot of times when we stall out, it's been the third, fourth, fifth, 20th the time. But now is a good time to get started again. And I have a writing tip for you today. That I think might just help you reignite that writing flame. My name is Patricia Chaponquier and welcome to episode number 12 of the Light Writers Vlog, where you can find inspiration and useful tips to help you write your life story. In life, we've all had things we had to do that we didn't want to do. Things like pay bills, do yard work, wash dishes. I hated washing dishes with a passion and my parents would never buy a dishwasher. They said they didn't need one. They already had one. Me. You may still have unpleasant things you have to do more than you would like. Things like go to doctor's visits or pay taxes or try to live well on a fixed income. But you know, when it comes to writing, you don't have to make it one more thing you have to do. If it is, you're not going to do it. Some kind of way we have got to make writing fun. Now, tell you a little story. Years ago, this young girl, I think she was about 12 years old, came to my monthly writing workshops with her mom to write in response to prompts. Her name was Stacy. The first time Stacy and her mom came, I thought her mother decided to come to the workshop and drag her along. I half apologized to Stacy for being forced to get up early on a Saturday morning and having to spend the morning with us instead of her friends. But her mother quickly said, oh no, this was her idea. She wants to write her life stories, not me. I stood very pleasantly corrected. I loved watching Stacy because each time she came, she brought this huge bag of writing utensils. She had felt tip markers and ink pens and pencils of all colors and shapes and sizes. She had fun stickers. She had some pens that wrote with sparkles and glitter. I loved watching her write. After hearing the prop, she thought for a few seconds about what writing apparatus would do the best jobs. Then she'd write with joy and abandon. She really did a good job, too. Her stories were interesting and funny and clever. So think about it. This year, in 2023, what can you do to make writing fun? What can you do to jazz up your writing time? Well, here are a few thoughts. One taken from Stacy: have some fun pens and fun colors to write with if you write by hand. If you write by a computer, change the fonts. Look for some fun fonts. Every word processing system has a bunch of fonts to choose from. Microsoft Word has a lot, and I'll give you a list of some of the ones I think are very fun. Bakke Script is one of them. Chiller, Curls, MT, GG, Jokerman, Modern Love, Mystical Woods, Rough Script, Rage Italic. Those are some, I love the names just as much as the font. So pick a different font to write in. We always write on the computer in black ink on white paper. But that doesn't have to be. You can change the color of the text from black to purple or green or red or blue or any color you want. You can also change the background color of the page, but be careful if you do that, that it's not a color that's going to strain your eyes. You can also do like I've done in writing workshops before and write with Crayola crayons. That brings out a whole different writing style. 
you can write on paper with no lines and not worry about writing straight on the page, which I can never do. Maybe turn your paper sideways. We always write when the paper's this way. Maybe turn the paper sideways and write on it that way. Look at where you write to. Maybe write in a different place. Sit on the floor and write. Or grab a blanket and go outside to write when the weather's nice. Those are just a few thoughts that came up off the top of my head. I'm sure you can come up with many more ideas of ways to make your writing fun. But what's most important is to write what you want to write and not what you think you have to write. Write what you want to write. I started writing these little Sunday stories and emailing them out to people on Sundays, obviously. I am having a blast writing those little stories. I hope other people like them, but if they don't, it doesn't really matter because I'm having fun writing them. So what can you do that might make writing fun for you this year? What's some of the things you would like to try? Share some of your ideas with us in the comments section below. We'll just exchange some tips. You might find something from what we post and we might find something in what you post to make our writing fun. So until next time, everybody, remember the most important thing, the only way to do this wrong is to not do it at all. The only way to do this wrong is to not do it at all. Happy writing, everybody. If you enjoyed this week's episode, you will love our Life Writers membership. Whether you don't know where to start writing your life stories, have started and stopped many times, or have been writing but want to receive feedback to make your stories better, the Life Writers membership is where you need to be. We have a Get Started Roadmap, an extensive library of instructional videos, live events via Zoom, and a supportive and active community. If you want to take the stories that live in your heart and mind and put them onto the page, check out Life Writers at lifewriters.us.